What is up guys, Dirk here. In today's video, we're going to look at Ethereum from a top time frame level of starting at one year, going all the way down to the lower time frames, and me sharing my thoughts about these charts and what I could potentially see happening for the year ahead. Yesterday, we did the same with Bitcoin. So if you haven't watched that yet, go and watch that right now. By the way, if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed, click the subscribe button down below and smash the notification bell so you do get future updates. And if you want to hit that thumbs up button to show you appreciate this content, I would really appreciate that. So let's start out by looking at the Ethereum um, chart on a 12 month time frame. So on a yearly time frame, each candle represents one year. And you can see very similar to Bitcoin, but obviously uh, Ethereum only launched in 2015. So we have much more limited data, red followed by two green, two red, two green. We had a red last year and you can see we are working on whatever candle is going to come in 2023. Again, it's very difficult to do any sort of analysis on yearly timeframes because they take so long to play out and there is so limited data. So just showing you this to start off the video. Then if we switch over to the quarterly chart, so the three month chart, each candle represents three months worth of data. You can see um, it isn't as ugly as Bitcoin with four red candles in a row, but it's pretty ugly. You can see a massive, massive drop over here um, in April of 2022. And since then, things haven't really been too good for ETH. But one thing I will show you that on the lower time frames too, is that ETH has not yet traded below its June 2022 lows, whereas Bitcoin has. So the whole question is going to be, is Ethereum lagging behind Bitcoin? And are we still going to see a major sell off in altcoins in this year where Ethereum and as a result, probably most altcoins are going to play catch up to Bitcoin that is already technically on the chart lower than its June lows, whereas Ethereum is not yet. So one thing we can note here is the last two quarters, we have these upper wicks and small candle bodies on the downside. You can maybe compare it to something like this. These upper wicks, they're not good because what it indicates is that the price within the quarter candle went all the way up and then the bears pushed it all the way back down for the close, meaning that the bulls had a chance within the candle to be able to make those upside gains. But before the candle closed, the bears stepped in, pushed it all the way back down. And that indicates again that any rallies are just being sold off. And it is likely with these kind of candles that we are going to see more downside before the trend is complete. Now we are back on the monthly time frame, and this is where we can start to see some actual uh, trends in a clearer view. I mean, the quarterly and the yearly, it's nice to look at a few times a year, but that is about it. It's very difficult to do any analysis with that. Now on the monthly chart, it starts to become more clear. You can see the blue here is the 50 simple moving average on the monthly chart, and we don't have as much data because obviously Ethereum only came in 2015, so it doesn't go as far back as Bitcoin does. But you can see over here that now we are starting to trade under that 50 moving average. And that is not something that we want to see for the bullish case, because it means that if we stay under here, we could still go a lot lower and still spend a lot more time below this. So for the bullish case, we really want to see Ethereum at least get back above this 50 monthly moving average which is about $1,300. We need to see a monthly close back above there for the bulls to have any sort of chance at continued upside. Now, if we look at the weekly chart, this is where things start to get interesting from a technical point of view, because it's just easier to see these trends and things tend to move relatively quickly compared to any of the other higher time frames that we have just looked at. So we have the 200 simple moving average in red, the 50 simple moving average in blue. And you can see here, it does not look good technically because we are below the 200 moving average. Obviously, we're below the 50, but that's happened a long time ago. We are now below the 200 too. And you can see over here, if I zoom in a little bit, we tried to get back above there. It got rejected exactly at the 200. And so far, we are still below there. And that is a bad sign for the bullish case, because as long as we're below here, you can see also the trend very simply is down. Okay, we're making lower highs all the time. We've been making lower lows here. And what is now missing is another new low because as i've said uh, earlier bitcoin is already trading below its june lows whereas ethereum is not yet so the question is is ethereum lagging and it's going to play catch up and have a major sell-off in the coming weeks or months or is ethereum stronger than bitcoin and is it the one that's holding up the whole market at this point and can it somehow 
managed to pull off a rally and and move higher that is the question i think um, the bias lies lies towards more downside and ethereum playing catch up at some point um, and obviously if that would happen with ethereum i think most altcoins would follow that same path especially since a lot of them are very closely tied to ethereum and built on top of ethereum so if this goes down um, it would probably be bad for the market and what we can see also simply is we have um, this inefficiency here this imbalance fair value gap whatever you want to call it we tapped it at the june wick over here and we have not fully gone into it yet so personally my expectation is that we at least test this june low a little bit below it we sweep it i think that is likely um never any certainties of course but i think that is likely and if things get really bad uh in the crypto markets in the global markets or whatever happens in the world and the support does not hold you can see also it lines up very well with this very simple i mean it was the peak over here into the inefficiency over here and we can move down into that so i do expect to see sub one thousand dollar ethereum once again in 2023 but if this level of support does not hold and we break through i really see this level being the next level which i've been saying last year also for months already if things get really bad we could see somewhere between 300 and 500 dollar ethereum um i don't know what would cause that obviously there would be some sort of trigger or some sort of news event that would probably cause that but the charts are already pointing towards it being a possibility so that is something you have to be mentally prepared for what is the worst case scenario that could happen in crypto this year and are you prepared for it are you okay if ethereum would drop to 300 dollars for a period of uh, several months would you be financially okay and that is what you have to consider and work into your strategy if you are going to be okay if you've just invested what you can afford to lose which you should be doing anyway and the price goes down to 300 and even you have some risk capital available you could dollar cost average maybe that might end up being the best opportunity to buy ethereum in the coming years okay but of course if you are over invested you have to consider if it goes to 300 what is that going to mean for you and maybe it doesn't happen okay like i said there's no guarantees but in my opinion the charts are showing it as a possibility so you have to factor that in to your investing and trading strategy now before we look at the final chart which is the three-day chart which i like to look at too just to give you some levels to watch at simple just like with bitcoin we need to get above the 50 week moving average above the blue for us to be back in full-blown bull market territory and at this point in time that is just simply not going to happen anytime soon you can see that is currently about 1850 dollars this average is coming down pretty fast so what we're probably going to see is several months of sideways and lower for this average to start to flatten out just like it did in the previous bear market before the accumulation can happen and we can start to break back above it so either way we need to get back above at this point in time eighteen hundred and fifty dollars to be able to get back into potential full-blown bull market territory first of all we need to get back above this 200 week moving average and get two consecutive weekly closes back above it in order to start getting more medium term bullish which means above thirteen hundred and sixty dollars at this point in time if that doesn't happen as long as we're below this average in my opinion we are likely to retest the june lows so somewhere around 900 to 700 dollars if that does not hold then we could be looking at as low as 300 to 500 dollars later this year again in my opinion so finally one more chart i want to look at is the three day chart where every candle represents three days worth of data and again the 200 moving average in red the 50 moving average in blue and you can see that these averages tend to hold pretty well but not as nicely on bitcoin as on bitcoin on the bitcoin chart the three day 50 moving average is a lot more of a clear signal with ethereum um a little bit less so and there are more fake outs over it so you could probably tweak that a little bit maybe you have to change the period of the moving average or change the time frame but i still like to look at it as a general kind of move you can see the rule here is still been we need to get two consecutive closes above for a reclaim and you can see that did not happen over here we got one above it the next candle a drop back below it right so this was an easy to spot fake out over here it rejected back in august um, it rejected again in september and the only time when things were a little bit different when we got a real true fake out signal was over here back in end of october where we actually did get 
two consecutive closes above it. But then we dropped back below it and that was a signal once again that this was a fake out and until we got back above it, now the trend is still down and we are below this. So again, it is not as perfect as in Bitcoin, but it is still pretty, pretty accurate. So keep an eye on this three day 50 moving average. As long as we're below it, the pressure is down, the selling pressure is down and you can still see it, like I said earlier, we're making lower highs all the time. We're still consistently making lower highs. Nothing has changed. The trend is still down on these higher time frames. And until we get that reclaim and until we break the downward trend and get confirmation of that, we can still expect lower prices. And the very best case, a retest of this June low um, and potentially a double bottom, but in the worst case, still lower, like I've said before. So that is something that I'm going to be watching. This is how I'm going to be playing the markets this year in terms of Ethereum. Also, just keep an eye on the three day 50 moving average as a signal for bull or bear market. We reclaim that with two consecutive closes above it. Then things start to look interesting for the bulls. We look at different time frames, and we could be looking at a longer term, medium to long term trend reversal. Until then, though, let's look and see what happens. These lows are potentially still in play, and that would be an area of interest where if the price gets there, we have to look at different time frames. We have to look at what's happening in other markets, and could that be a bottom where it's going to be a good opportunity to buy ETH? Yes or no. And if this does not hold or it doesn't look good, then ultimately maybe down between three and $500 will be the ultimate buying opportunity. And if that sounds crazy, look at what happened in 2018. It is the exact same drawdown percentage from peak to trough. So 300 to $500 would not be that crazy. Let me just show you this real quick. From peak to trough, uh, you can see over here 95%. This was the 2018 bear market in Ethereum. So that was really, really crazy in case you forgot or you weren't there to experience it. That was a massive, massive drop. And many people, including myself, actually started to question the long term survival of ETH at this point. And obviously it did. And it went from over here from about $80 all the way to almost $5,000 within the next three years. So if we look at the current drawdown percentage, what we've seen so far, you can see it's only been 82% at this point in time. And there's no guarantees or no requirements that this bear market has to match the previous one. I'm just showing you that it has in the last bear market drawn down 90, more than 94%. And in this case, if we were to draw down a 94%, you can see over here, that would roughly be somewhere between three and $500, closer to $300 actually. So what I'm saying here with what these charts are showing with the support levels is actually not that crazy. And if the market does really get bad, and I'm talking about stock markets and the whole macro environment, if something else geopolitically happens in the world this year, um, there is potential technically for those levels. So let's see what the year brings us. Three day 50 moving average is an important bear bull indicator that I'm going to be using to help guide me this year for positions, for entries, for exits. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.